Welcome to the final episode in this series. Let me talk a little bit about what did we actually build and then we will push it to GitHub. So basically this application takes care of pushing new Bucker tasks to Freshdesk. We subscribe to a Bucker event that fires a webhook. This is basically a post request to the target URL with the details of the new task. Now, we use request bin for the target URL and then forwarded the same post request with Postman to our local application to slash API slash task. This is because our application is not on any web server and we don't really have a public URL to it. So if your application is online, however, you should just subscribe its target URL. When our application receives this request, and if it is a valid request, it pushes it to the queue. On a real server, the queue workers should be running constantly or triggered by a cron job every couple of minutes. So if the worker is unable to process the queue item, then it tries again in a later time, or we can process it manually after setting up the correct key. And if the job process successfully, then a new Freshdesk ticket is added. So this application is a very good starting point of creating a full synchronization between Buckhard and Freshdesk or two similar services without using Zapier or other softwares. Okay, let's add this project to GitHub. We're going to initialize a new GitHub repo and just add everything. And this will be our initial commit. Everything's done here. We should create the new repo on GitHub. I will call this Lumen Consuming RESTful Web APIs. And this is an example application for consuming RESTful Web APIs. Let's create the repository. And I'm going to use these two commands because we already initialized the repo. The first one just sets the remote. And with the second one, we just push it to GitHub. Refresh it, and everything is here. Now, I'm going to change the readme file later on, obviously. But for now, I think we've finished with this tutorial. And this is the last video of this series. I hope this tutorial was helpful and you learned something new. If yes, then just give me a thumbs up. Please also let me know in the comment section below if you have any idea on what tutorial should I make next. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks!